I've got all of my potatoes nice and chunked up. I've already got the two pans that my potatoes are going on in the oven, heating up at 425 degrees. So by preheating my pan, it will stop my potatoes from sticking, and it will also crisp my potatoes up right away. I want nice and crispy potatoes, so I'll just really soak them. A lot of olive oil and a lot of patatas bravas are deep fried. I'm just gonna roast these right up. So I'm gonna grab my pan and keep the oven open and get my potatoes right on top. You hear them already starting to sizzle? That's what I wanted. And it goes right back in the oven. So those potatoes are gonna stay in there for about 40 to 50 minutes. So they get nice and crispy on the outside and nice and creamy on the inside. Now I wanna make the two sauces that I'm gonna serve with my patatas bravas. One is a sherry saffron aioli, but I am gonna start with my spicy tomato sauce. And that's gonna be the bed for my patatas bravas. So a little bit of olive oil, and then I'm gonna soften some shallots and some garlic that I chopped up earlier. You can make this the day ahead or two days ahead if you wish. I'll get a little salt in there. Time for the garlic. Mm, it already smells so divine. Turn this down just a touch and add in just a tablespoon of tomato paste. That's just heaven right there. Now, are my chopped tomatoes. I really prefer my tomatoes in a carton. I think they taste so much better. And then I wanna make it spicy, so I'm gonna add some chili pepper flakes. It's gonna be spicy. Last but not least, just a little more salt. Tomatoes can take a lot of salt. So I'll let this cook down until it gets nice and thick. A good 15 minutes at least to just sit here and simmer down. Simmer down there, youngin'. Let's get started on my sherry saffron aioli. Saffron is a very big spice, and it needs to be rehydrated so that all that beautiful color and flavor really starts to come alive again. So I've got some sherry vinegar. Now I'm gonna start with the shallot and a clove of garlic. Shallot goes in. Crush my garlic, and that goes in. I'll let the food processor do all the work. I love when that happens. Then mayo. Aioli is just a creamy, garlicky sauce. A little anchovy paste, just a teaspoon. That's gonna add a really nice, salty flavor in there. Don't be afraid of anchovy paste. I need some salt, and then my sherry-infused saffron, or my saffron-infused sherry, <laughs> whichever. I wanna make sure that shallot gets sliced up and diced. Let's check on my potatoes. Give them a little stir. So I'm gonna grab my nice spicy tomato sauce. This sauce has thickened up so beautifully. It's a gorgeous bed for my potatoes. So I'm just gonna lay that down. And then these are nice and cooled. Pull these right on top. That's beautiful. Beautiful. Now, final touches, give it a little shake. This is my sherry saffron aioli that I made earlier, and that'll go right over top. I've got some flat leaf parsley. My patatas bravas already. 